Three months ago, I bought an RX 580 from Isurix. It's the RX 580 2048SP version, a Chinese-only GPU that can be bought for a dirt cheap price. I've been using it for quite a while now, and I did notice a few things about it. But first, we have to see the performance of the GPU. And I decided to pair the GPU with Ryzen 5 3600 in order to get a more realistic benchmark. The Ryzen 5 3600 is more than enough to run games that we will be trying today. The first game we're benchmarking is Cyberpunk 2077. In order to avoid wasting any time, I will state the average FPS throughout a 3 hour gameplay. And as we can see in Cyberpunk 2077, we are getting 58 FPS with FSR set to balance. The next game we're benchmarking is the new Dragon Age Failgun, and this is where you will see the GPU will start to struggle in recent AAA games. Here I am getting 55 FPS with FSR performance on all low settings. And the last game is Dota 2, probably the most logical game you would play with this GPU. On eSport titles, you should expect getting over 100 FPS on this GPU. And as you can see here, I am getting over 160 FPS. Other games that are not included in the video is Baldur's Gate 3. I was getting a surprising 60 FPS on low settings with FSR performance. In CSGO 2, I was getting 212 FPS on low settings. Lastly, in GTA 5, I was getting 85 FPS with all of the settings set to high. Now, after all said and done, to me, this is a very respectable GPU. Disclaimer alert, I'm not sponsored by Isurix. So this is coming purely from a budget gamble perspective. And for me, if you buy it at the right price, it might be worth it. Last October, I bought it for 330 Malaysian Ringgit. I will put the currency exchange from a fellow Southeast Asian gamers as reference. Now for that price, it is actually a very respectable GPU. The reason why I say that is that when you compare the price with other GPUs with similar performance, it is actually way more affordable, especially when you see Facebook Marketplace. In my place, you will get a 1660 Super for twice the price of an Isurix RX 580. Now, despite the affordable price, this GPU comes with several setbacks. I have the combat version of the RX 580, which is a single pipe version. And whenever I play games like Cyberpunk, Dragon Age, and also Baldur's Gate, I was getting an average temperature of 75 to 85 degrees, which is kind of normal for most GPUs, but for a GPU this old, you want to avoid pushing it that far for a long period of time. Now what I'm showing you is the current model that I am using on my PC, which is a single pipe of aluminium if I'm not mistaken on the heatsink of the GPU. Another issue that I found out while using this GPU is that I experienced a lot of crashes, especially in games like Dota 2 and Dragon Age. I found out that the original factory clock speed was running at 1228 MHz, which is way higher than its original base clock speed. I think this is one of the reasons why this GPU keeps crashing on me. So I managed to undervolt it through AMD's Unreal software and it, it actually worked out well. I have not experienced any crashes after undervolting it. And based on what I searched on the internet, the 2048SP version of the RX 580 faces the same problem regardless of the manufacturer. So if you have the same RX 580, remember to undervolt your GPU in order to avoid any crashes. 
So what do you think of this GPU? Is it good? Is it bad? Or is it good enough? I think for Southeast Asian, this GPU is a very affordable GPU. I know most of the PC building communities look down on this GPU, especially from ISORIX. But I think they did a good job on putting a new backplate, putting a new heatsink, a new aluminium pipe. I, I would say everything is new except for the main parts, of course. But it is what you expect from a GPU that was released back in 2017. If you want to play eSport titles, I would say this is the perfect GPU for you. Or if you want to play modern titles or medium to low settings, then this is also the perfect GPU for you. But please remember this is an entry level GPU. This is not something that you can rely on for the next 5 years. You will always need to upgrade every 5 years in order to keep yourself up to date with the latest games. That is all that I have to say about this GPU. Thank you for watching. If you have any question, please comment down below and don't forget to subscribe. Goodbye.